ha 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 okay uh, I'm, I can't keep doing that. I'm sorry I started I started the video like that I'm on hey welcome to the video inside today's video we got a new update and some new Rec Room studio news to talk about and I think we have some developer talk as well to get straight into this new update we have the Rec Room patch the little wonders edition and they go on to talk about beacons have you ever needed to point something out to a friend or ping strategic points in paintball? Beacons are now the answer. Beacons are only visible to members of your party and or team and double tap the screen on mobile, double press the right bumper on controllers or middle click on the PC while playing in a party or team to use beacons. All non-VR players have access to this feature right now and VR access is coming soon. Very excited about beacons and uh, can't wait to see how they look on screen mode and stuff. That's pretty interesting actually. For general improvements and bug fixes, for VR players, the using grid snap Snapping, twisting your arm while you're drawing a ribbon or tube no longer twists them, removing these strange twists and turns of shapes that randomly showed up. Fix an issue some players were having when accepting game invites from their phone's notification screen. Fix a bug that required you to reselect a player to gift when gifting through someone's wish list. Fix a bug where room instances might become unjoinable if you edited a bunch of circuits. And lastly, fix a bug where unowned items are unlocked when entering the portfolio of another player who wears those items. So basically, the free item bug that was going around Rec Room for a little while is basically patched now. For mobile home, they enabled landscape mode for mobile home, they added better indicators of rooms that require a version update, and now for experiments they say previously we experimented with providing a feature to precisely place rooms 1.0 shape set to decoration or environment on screens. Now that we're continuing that experiment with other objects that have physics like weapons, food, dodgeball, etc, thanks to all the great feedback so far we've been continuing to iterate on this feature, so please continue to let us know what you think. We'll soon be experimenting with controller controls on the watch menu and you'll be able to use L and R shoulder buttons to highlight the desired tab then wait a second for the page to switch over and you'll be able to let them know what you think. If you want to see convenient links, tools, tutorials, comfort option, news and more they have the rec.net slash creator tab there for you and they'd love to hear your feedback so feel free to check out the rec.net forum. These two links help you stay connected within the community and I will also have them inside the description below. Ah <sighs> what a great update but what an even great sponsor. That's right this video is sponsored by AMVR. They decided to give your boy one of their controller grips cover for Quest 3S and Quest 3. These controllers give you an enhanced grip and control and feature a high quality silicone texture and anti-slip design to improve grip during intense VR session. This ensures that even if your hands sweat, the controller remains securely in place, providing superior control and reducing the risk of slips. There's improved ergonomics to it. There's a battery accessible hatch, basically allowing you to switch out your batteries super, super easily. And these controller grips feature knuckle straps, which allow you to hold your controllers without having to hold your controllers. It's also more immersive. And this design prevents accidental drops and ensures that the controller stays in your palm, offering a reliable grip and full control. If you're worried about the sensors being covered, don't worry, they're not covered, of course. Now, AMVR has given me this product and I've had them for a while now and have been testing them and stuff like that, and they're very comfortable. They haven't slipped out of my hands once, and not to mention the knuckle straps are just an extra added bonus as well. If you guys are interested in some controller grips, you guys can check out the link inside the description, which is AMVR's website, and they actually have an early Black Friday sale, meaning that if you get one item, you'll get 15% off, if you get two items, you get 20% off, and if you get four items, you'll get 30% off. So take advantage of that sale, and thank you AMVR for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, super fun sponsor. Uh, thanks whoever was sponsoring me for sponsoring me. Back to the video. Now, this was our first update in like two weeks, and usually that's not the case with Rock Room. The reason why we waited two weeks for this new update is because of the Nintendo Switch launch. It, they would have had an update last week, but it launched last week, so they didn't update last week. And yeah, that explains why there's been no update videos. Anywho, Rec Room on their social medias have came out to say that Rec Room Studio has expanded access. Starting today, they're rolling out Rec Room Studio to more creators with no Rec Room Plus subscription required and lower player level requirements. It's now easier to get qualified to start creating with pro level tools, and you can get details on all the changes below and even check your availability inside this link, which I will have inside the description. 
We're making Rec Room Studio accessible to more creators. More creators with access to pro-level tools means more of you can contribute to Rec Room's growing catalog of high-quality experiences. To ensure its stability, access will be rolled out in phases over the coming weeks. Here's what's changing. You can access it without Rec Room Plus. You can download, create, and publish using Rec Room Studio without a Rec Room Plus subscription now. Player Level 20 Plus, they lower the required player level from 30 to 20, and this allows aspiring creators to use Rec Room Studio while ensuring they have enough experience on the platform to contribute meaningfully. And you must have good vibes. You have to have a clean moderation history in the last 90 days. Now why does these changes matter? They believe that everyone should have an opportunity to create. Now they've said this a lot lately, but it's true. One of their pro-level tools for creating is Rec Room Studio, and we see thousands of creators use it every day. Over half of the top 25 room, including hits like Rec Video Chat, Ignited Bonnie, and our recent RROs, Make It to Midnight, and My Little Monsters, were built using the studio tools. We want to see more great rooms come out of Rec Room Studio, so in service of that goal, we're making it easier for creators to try out to Rec Room Studio. What does this mean for you, though? For new creators, if you are eligible under new criteria, Criteria, this update will give you cool access to build and publish Rec Room Studio rooms and get them out into the room reverse. If you're rolling this out in stages, make sure nothing goes wrong with extra users on board. So if you don't have publish abilities immediately, keep checking back here as we add more and more creators. And while you're waiting, you can still download Rec Room Studio and get familiar with the studio tools before you get to build and publish access. For existing creators already using Rec Room Studio, your workflow will stay the same. With more creators joining, we expect to see an increase in usage and therefore build activity to ensure performance remains reliable, rolling out access in phases introducing a new Fastlane access. Fastlane access is an exclusive new feature for Rec Room Plus subscribers that prioritizes your builds during peak usage. You don't have to do anything. These improvements are designed to manage this behind the scenes so you can keep building with confidence. Click the button below to check your eligibility and download Rec Room Studio. Now you, of course you can and I will have the link to this actual Rec Room Studio expansion website link inside the description below as well. Now looking ahead, with more creators joining Rec Studio, they're excited to see what the next generation of rooms looks like. Your creativity is what makes Rec Room special, and we're here to support you every step of the way. We'd love getting your feedback about your experience using Rec Room Studio so we can continue to support you in happy building. Now they have an FAQ. If you guys are interested, I'll just let that scroll, pause, and read if you really want to. TMNT is closing soon. It'll be over on the 17th, unfortunately, and that's like in like three, four days now. Due to that, all the item sets inside this actual store are 20% off. So the splinter sets, all the turtle sets, the foot clan, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you don't know already, I have channel memberships. They're basically like Patreon, and they give me money every single month for special perks like being shouted out in all of my videos and sneak peeks to videos as well. If you want to join in on all that stuff, join the family. But of course, I have these nice little images showing off the the members inside my channel. Major shout out to Kirby, to Kobe Fan76, Daytrix, Hydro Nolan, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Chase Don, Don Lee, Logue, I, I don't know this guy's name, BB Burning Owl, Raphael, Cloud of the Nine, and of course, Box David. Now, there's also one more thing inside of Rec Room. There's new glow sets for Destiny 2. This just came out right now. And if you come to Destiny 2, which uh, portal is located inside the Rec Center, then you guys can actually check them out. So you can just go to the apparel shop and you'll see that these are now new. And the only thing really new about them is that the colors glow. That, that, that's it. Now, these also still cost tokens and stuff like that, so of course if you had bought these previous sets, unfortunately, um, you still have to buy these sets, but they are 50% off if you did have the original set. So if I had, like for example, the Red Titan set, um, this new Red Titan set that glows now is 50% off. What do you guys think? That's the only new thing that they really added to this Destiny 2 collab, and, and that's it. <laughs> And then there was some talk about Crescendo going on to Quest, if you guys don't remember. Basically, Quest 2 is able to play Crescendo now. It was confirmed by Supremium that for Quest 3 inside of Crescendo, you should expect a solid frame rate, especially in the indoor scene. Some stuff like enemies will continue to update every other frame to avoid some CPU costs, but otherwise, it should run fine. It was also confirmed that things are a little weird right now with updates because they're just going to update like they did before, but most of them will be minor updates every week, ideally. 
with one monthly major update. Things are going to be weird because of winter holidays and the Switch launch right now. Pico is also going to be getting Crescendo and Android might be getting Crescendo? You don't really know yet. And when asked, does the new update system mean major updates are bigger than what used to be the weekly updates? Jeff says, yeah, probably. All the stuff that goes into the minor updates needs to be compatible with the previous major version. Everything else goes in the major updates. The next major update is pretty big, for example. Though it might be an exaggerated example due to the Switch launch. So yes, people are getting hyped for this next major update. It seems like this little, you know, patch wasn't a major update. It was just a minor update. And of course, we will wait and see. And I will be back with more Rec Room news. Also, go check out the sponsor. I know where you live. Just don't, don't try me. And of course, if you guys want to see more Rec Room news, you guys can see it on that side of the screen and stuff. Like, subscribe, even use my code in game, which is just SK0L, and I, of course, will love you forever. I've been busy. I have nothing really to add for this last part. Bye.